Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Akansha Mundada, GR3, Department of Radio Diagnosis from MGIMS, Sevagram Vartha. Today I'm presenting a paper on CT differentiation of pyogenic liver abscesses caused by Klebsiella pneumonia versus non-Klebsiella pneumonia. Abstract. The objective of my uh, study is CT findings in liver abscesses caused by Klebsiella pneumonia compared with those caused by other bacterial pathogens. The most commonly isolated from pyogenic liver abscesses in Asian populations. Previously, the most common organism was E. coli. Now, it is Klebsiella pneumonia in many Asian populations and in some Western populations. Difference between Klebsiella pneumonia and non Klebsiella pneumonia higher frequency of bacteremia, metastatic infection is present in Klebsiella as compared to uh, non Klebsiella. However, mortality rate is more in case of non-Klebsiella. Prognosis is poor in case of Klebsiella pneumonia infections, while underlying biliary disease is more in non-Klebsiella pneumonia infections. Drug resistant to ampicillin is present in Klebsiella pneumonia infections. Early recognition of KLA is important. The clinical presentation and laboratory findings of patients with KLA are similar to those of patients with other pyogenic liver abscesses. Blood or pus culture, Imaging modalities such as ultrasonography and computer tomography have been used to diagnose liver abscesses. The purpose of our study was to retrospectively compare the clinical and CT features of pyogenic liver abscesses caused by Klebsiella pneumonia and other bacterial pathogens and to identify differences that may assist in differential diagnosis. Methods and materials. Patients. Retrospective single institution study approved by Institutional Review Board. Consent was routinely obtained from all patients before all CT examinations and intervention procedures, such as aspiration of abscess pus. A search of medical records was performed to identify all patients in whom a liver abscess was diagnosed between December 2020 to September 2022. Out of 214 patients, 85 patients were excluded for one of the following reasons. In three patients, no CT had been performed. In seven patients, only a non-enhanced CT study had been performed. In 69 patients, pus culture did not reveal a positive finding. In one patient, lesion that had been depicted in imaging studies did not result after antibiotic treatment. In two patients, the patient had a suspected amoebic or fungal abscess, while in three patients, CT scans were obtained after interventional procedures or surgery. Out of 129 consecutive patients, clinically proven pyogenic liver abscesses, 60 men and 69 women with a mean age of 67 years. All patients underwent ultrasonography guided needle aspiration for cutaneous abscess drainage or surgical drainage. Two groups, Klebsiella pneumonia monomicrobial pyogenic liver abscesses, KLA group, and the non Klebsiella pneumonia monomicrobial or polymicrobial pyogenic liver abscesses, that is a non KLA group. A monomicrobial and polymicrobial liver abscess. Medical data, including clinical, imaging, and laboratory parameters for the 129 patients were reviewed with particular attention to the presence of diabetes mellitus or metastatic infection in other parts of the body, such as meningitis, endophthalmitis, lung abscess, kidney abscess, or fasciitis. CT, average of 0.7 days before the procedures or surgeries. CT examinations were performed using a light-speed QXI4 detector row scanner or a somatome sensation 16 multi-detector row scanner. The CT techniques varied because of the retrospective nature of this test. Most patients underwent dynamic CT and the remaining 11 patients underwent single phase CT. Generally, unenhanced and dual phase contrast enhanced helical scans were obtained. After an unenhanced CT scan was obtained, 150 ml of iochromite, ultravis 370, was administered at a flow rate of 3 to 4 ml per second using a mechanical injector. The scan delay time was determined using the polar stacking technique. Late arterial phase scanning was automatically initiated at 10 seconds after the contrast enhancement of the iota reached the preferred point, that is 1000 H, uh, 100 Hu. Portal venous phase scanning was obtained 20 seconds after the completion of the late arterial phase. These are the CT scan images showing hepatic abscesses. CT interpretation. Two experienced abdominal radiologists retrospectively reviewed the CT images and developed a consensus opinion. Both radiologists were aware that the patients had hepatic abscesses, but they were blinded to the results of the microbiological and clinical findings. During the analysis of the CT features, cases from the PLA and non PLA group were randomly intermixed. CT images of abscesses were analyzed in terms of the number, location, 
size and configuration of the abscesses the thickness of the abscess wall pattern of rib enhancement septal enhancement double target sign internal necrotic debris internal gas bubbles additionally the radiologist recorded the presence of underlying biliary disease including stones in the bile duct air in the biliary tray bile duct obstruction cholecystitis and any previous hepatobiliary operation the abscess wall one layer or two layers with varying degrees of enhancement was in with central necrotic areas and surrounding hepatic parenchyma the maximum thickness of wall was classified as thick equal to or greater than 2 mm or thin which is less than 2 mm the pattern of rim enhancement it is increased was defined as majority of the margin having higher higher attenuation than the surrounding liver or no enhancement the presence of septal enhancement where septal attenuation in the abscess cavity higher than that of the surrounding liver double target sign consisted of a hypotense central abscess cavity surrounded by an inner hypertense ring and an outer hypertense zone on dynamic contrast and on ct necrotic debris solid component with enhancement similar to or less than that of the adjacent liver larger than 1 cm in diameter in a hypertense central necrotic area statistical analysis a chi square test used to differentiate in clinical and ct features between patients in the kla and non kla groups differences in age and in the size and number of the abscesses between groups were analyzed using student's p test a multivariate step by logistic regression analysis used to test the univariate models demonstrated the best predictors of the kla versus non kla groups using these data the sensitivity specificity and accuracy of the criteria for differentiating kla from non kla were evaluated a p value of less than 0.05 was deemed to indicate a statistically significant difference in all analyses all statistical analysis were performed using the spss software package results out of 129 patients 59 monomicrobial infection were caused by klebsiella pneumonia kla group 70 patients non klebsiella pneumonia monomicrobial or polymicrobial infection that is non kla group were diagnosed by blood and or abscess aspirate culture no significant difference in age and gender was observed between the two groups Univariate analysis shows significant differences between the KLA and non-KLA groups. The KLA group with thin walled abscesses, no rim enhancement and necrotic debris. Non-KLA group had thick walled abscesses, increased rim enhancement and double target sign. Underlying biliary disease in non-KLA group was more than in the KLA group. Difference was statistically significant. Metastatic infection concomitantly developed in 12 of 59 patients in the KLA group of whom 10 were diabetics. one of the 70 patients in the non kla group this was also significantly different of the 12 patients with metastatic infection in the kla group four developed endophthalmitis four developed lung abscess two renal abscess one brain abscess and one patient developed endophthalmitis with lung and brain abscess multivariate stepwise logistic regression analysis showed that a thin wall abscess internal necrotic debris absence of underlying biliary disease and presence of metastatic infection were the most significant predictors of kla conclusion despite the study's limitations a thin wall abscess necrotic debris in the abscess cavity presence of metastatic infection absence of underlying biliary disease were most significant findings for discriminating kla from non kla in patients with pyogenic liver abscesses in an asian population the combined presence of these findings is highly suggestive of kla and may therefore be helpful in differential diagnosis Thanks.